All right, if we take a look at this problem here, it says a wave of light has a frequency of 4.5 times 10 to minus four, uh, 14 cycles per second. What is the energy of a photon of this light? You remember that the equation energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency of light. Well, the frequency of light, 4.5 times 10 to the negative 14 cycles per second, s to the negative 1, we'll write it that way, or you could put it in the denominator, doesn't really matter. Multiply by Planck's constant. Okay, now, you'll remember that Planck's constant has a numerical value of 6.63 times 10 to the negative uh, 34 joule seconds, written this way. So if we take this one and write it as s to the negative 1, and then we really transfer it into the denominator, like this, you can see dimensionally then the seconds is going to cancel out, leaving us only in the unit of joules. So now I can go ahead and do the calculation for my uh, problem. 6.62.98, three sig figs, I should only have uh, two, times 10 to the minus 47th joules. Which for one photon of light, that is just a I mean, it's a very small number, but you're only dealing with one photon of light. So we're able to actually calculate the energy based on the frequency. Well, could we calculate the energy if we didn't have the frequency, if we only had the wavelength? Let's try a problem like that. All right, let's try a problem like this. It says calculate the energy of a photon of light that has a frequency of 2.0 times 10 to the 8 cycles per second. So remember that the energy associated with the photon of light is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency. Well, we have the frequency here. Do we have Planck's constant? Planck's constant has a numerical value of 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, written in this fashion. Now, if I multiply that times the frequency, the frequency of 2.0 times 10 to the minus, or excuse me, 10 to the 8, Cycles per second. Let's write that as cycles per second. Now we have cycles or seconds in the denominator. Now we dimensionally I can cancel out the values there, and now I'm able to actually calculate the numerical value of my energy associated with a single photon. 6.63 exponent um, 34 negative, changing the sign, times 2.0 exponent 8 cycles per second gives us a numerical value of 1.3 times 10 to the minus 25 joules, which is a very small amount of energy, but you're also only dealing with one photon of light. All right, here we have an example where we have the wavelength of the, of the light, and we need to calculate the energy of a photon of that one. If you remember that the equation E is equal to the Planck's constant times the frequency, but yet I've been given the wavelength. I also remember that the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Well, if I've been given wavelength, let's solve for this in terms of that and substitute it in. If I divide both sides by the wavelength, now I have a way of substituting that into this equation. So my energy is equal to C over the wavelength, like this, and now I don't have to worry about the frequency, I can just substitute it fundamentally using my idea of wavelength instead. So now if I'm going to do that, 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, divided by my wavelength, which is 3.5 times 10 to the negative 12 meters, and I'm going to multiply that by uh, 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. That should give us the energy associated with that photon. Let's look what happens to our units. Meters cancels out. That leaves seconds in the denominator here, which we'll put it canceling out seconds here. So now I'm in units of joules, which is what I was after. So I end up with um, 3 exponent 8 divided by 3.5 exponent 12, change the sign, times 
6.63 exponent 34, change the sign on that, and it gives us 5.68 times 10 to the negative 14 joules associated with that photon of light. Now, they're getting a small amount, but it's also the last one was 10 to the negative 25th. This is a much higher amount of energy, but it's to be expected uh, because this one was actually located in the X-ray region. Okay, let's try another problem then. A photon of light has an energy of 6.23 times 10 to the negative uh, 20th joules. What's the wavelength of light? Well, let's solve that one in terms of frequency first, because it is slightly easier. The energy is equal to the Planck's constant times the frequency. So if I divide Planck's constant into the energy, I can now get the frequency of light, then I'll convert it to wavelength in just a second. So the energy of 6.6 or 6.23 times 10 to the negative 20 joules divided by Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds equals the frequency. Plug that into my calculator. Okay, now I get 9.4 times 10 to the 13 hertz as far as the frequency goes. Now I can go back and plug that into my other equation. The speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength to isolate the wavelength. I do that by dividing both sides by the frequency. I'm going to now take 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by my frequency 9.4 times 10 to the 13 her, uh, cycles per second, written that way, so your seconds cancels out, and that will give me my wavelength. So three. My final answer then becomes 3.2 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Or again, we're quite small, but uh, and again, you had quite high frequency as well. So there we have it, ways of calculating energy, frequency, and wavelength.